This is Sai Kumar Kortibada. In this video, we will learn how to migrate our Angular application from version 12 to 13. To upgrade from 12 to 13, Angular provided us a excellent documentation with step-by-step -step commands and how to execute them. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. And here I have created an Angular application a long back and for that application, I'm using a version as 12. Now I want to update this 12 version into 13. So for that sake, what I will do is, first thing we need to remove all our package log JSONs because the package log JSON will hold the previous data. So let me save this and I have created a branch like v-13 and we will be pushing all our Angular code and if you want to use Angular version 13, you can use this as a boilerplate code. Let me go into the browser. So here we have update.angular.io. So in this we have selected from 12 to 13. You can select any of the version but it is always recommended to jump from one version to another version. Now the latest version which is a stable version is 14. Once this updation is done for 13 then we will go with the 14 updations in the upcoming videos. Now I have selected medium app so we have all the different types of app complexities. So for now I'm making it as medium and here we are not using Angular JS and also I'm not using Angular material and also I'm not using Windows. I'm using Mac. So let me click on this and you got all the steps to execute and before updating there is nothing to change in our code. During the update we have to run this command. Let me copy this command and execute here. Let me click enter. This command will take a bit time and make sure your internet connection should be available. So it has installed these packages and now it is finding all the dependencies and updating the package JSON. It has updated the package JSON you can see here. It moved into 13 and whatever the requirements it requires for the particular changes in our project it will do automatically and if you see here it has been updated the packages and now it will try to install all these packages with our node module. So the latest node modules will be replaced with Angular 12's node modules packages installed failed there is some problem with our jasmine core so to avoid this we can use npm install again npm install hyphen hyphen force we can use the force command to update my jasmine core why because i'm using jasmine core with 3.7.0 but my system is using a node version of 16 plus that means the latest node version so that is the problem it is giving so now all that will be treated as a warning and it will try to update your node modules. So now the installation has been done and it updated with package log JSON. If you see here package log JSON and the changes, you can see all are in 13 version. Whatever the dependencies we have on Angular that are in 13 version. And now let me try to go here and check Angular now uses TypeScript 4.4. That means we should have a TypeScript 4.4 version and this is done and we are using a latest TypeScript. I can use TSC hyphen hyphen version because my TypeScript has been installed globally. So this is 4.4.2. That means we are using 4.4. So you can see here 4.4.2. That is that means only the minor version changes there. I have an updated one 4.4. So this is also done. And you have to check the node version. It should be 12 plus. So let me check the node version. Node hyphen hyphen version. And it is in 16 version. So it is about 12 so i can tick this and remaining things already we know that we didn't implemented any router links in our code so no need of it and also we don't want load children we didn't load any routings in this and also we are not using activated and also this one not used and platform server also we are not using after the update there are no current changes so now what i'll do just go and run the application to check whether we have any compile time or runtime errors and if you see here your global version is 14 and the local version is 13.3.8 this one we will update in the next upcoming video to 14 so it is generating the application bundles and let me see here so if you see here previously we don't have dot angular folder why because we are using angular 12 but from angular 13 whenever you run the application it will create dot angular folder and it will have a webpack where you will have a babel webpack as well as angular webpack and you will be having all your code which is minimized so now we have only one component so it is showing only two three files now 
let me go to the browser and just go here and reload so we are not showing any ui why because let me go to app.component.html and update here like h1 hi i am using angular 13 save this go here and now you can see hi i am using angular 13 so now our angular apl application has been upgraded to angular 13 so this is how you can upgrade your angular version from angular 12 to 13 and also i'll push this content into v13 branch so let me add all the values git add dot and then git commit minus m updated angular 12 to 13 let me hit enter and git push origin v hyphen 13 but what happened is we have pushed angular code also so to ignore this dot angular one which is only for the development purpose we can use git ignore add the dependency git ignore here like slash dot angular folder i don't want to use this angular folder and also it is not needed in our previous commit we have pushed this let me delete this and then let me push it again git add dot git commit minus m removed angular folder and git push origin v hyphen 13 so i have pushed all the code to v hyphen 13 and if you run it again with ng serve again it will create dot angular folder so you can see here dot angular folder has been created and now go back and reload it works as expected so from angular 13 remember that it will create one more dot angular folder which will be running our application in the upcoming video i'll go with angular 14 update from angular 13 i'll use the same git repo with different branch hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you